Music performances could be kind of tough, but there's some things that you could do to make sure that you don't have cold feet. Hey, this is Legendary Beats here from LegendaryBeatsOnline.com. Welcome to the channel, Legendary Promo TV. Thank you for having. Thank you for coming here today. Um, today we're going to be talking about a big topic that a lot of artists probably have an issue with or bands um, concerning music performances, music live performances. And today we're just going to go over three amazing secrets that can help you have a successful music performance. Let's get into it. One of the biggest things that you can do as a performer, especially as a performer, because that's what you are, <laughs> pretty much. You're performing your work in front of people you are now expressing your emotion and what you feel what this is called is engaging your audience when you can engage the audience for them to feel exactly what you are feeling when you're making or when you're performing your music then you have successfully done your job as a performer um, the best performers are the ones who are able to make the audience cry in certain parts parts of the song. When the song is emotional, to make the you know the when you see the girls faint in the crowd, Michael Jackson used to make all the girls faint in the crowd when he did his moonwalk or something like that. Lil Richie the same way. Uh, a lot of these performers they had certain ways that they performed, which gave them. I would say kind of a connection with the audience who they're performing in front of. If you can do that, you're on your road to success. The next thing you could do is a dress rehearsal. Pretty much what this is, is that you can, uh, you know, get on stage, get used to how the stage is, where things are, walk across the stage, do a mini performance kind of, where you're kind of practicing the song on the stage. When no one's in the audience, you're just getting used to how things are. Um, so you're familiar with what's going on so say in a certain part of the song if you want to walk to the left you want to walk to the right you want to walk forward towards the audience you want to put your hand out um, to reach out to the audience uh, that will help you feel comfortable so that when it is time for you to perform in front of the audience that you already know what exactly you want to do one way to make sure that your performances you know go successfully uh, well is that you understand how to use the mic a lot of times some artists may, if they didn't get to do the dress here rehearsal, they're not sure how the mics are set up, or how close they are supposed to be to the speakers, things like that. Uh, what you should practice doing is keeping the mic around two to three inches away from your mouth or your face. Um, especially if you're about to hit the high notes, pull back a little bit. Uh, when you're singing softly, pull it closer. I do believe I have a video up. Actually, I do have a video up on mic placement. Uh, this might actually help you when you're doing your live performances. Uh, you should see the annotation somewhere on the screen here. Uh, that video will help you out a lot. Uh, mostly that's for a home studio, but it still works when you do a live performance. Uh, so if you weren't able to do a dress rehearsal, then most likely you can just think of these things while you're performing, while you're holding a mic. Keep that, make that continue to flow in your mind as you get ready to perform. That you know, you keep the mic two to three inches away from your mouth. If you sing the higher notes, as I said, or the louder notes, you pull it, you pull it away from you a little bit. And if you're singing softer, you pull it closer to you. That's gonna help you out a lot. Make sure that you have a great performance. And I know you will have a good performance. And if you don't, there's always room for improvement with everything in life. So you just gotta stay focused and continue working hard. And just remember that you're striving to be legendary. So I hope these tips helped you out. Be sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions or if this video has helped you out. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my page so you'll be updated on new um, videos that I'll be putting out. I'll be trying to put out one video every week. But yeah, so I you know, wish you all the best and I wish you the best uh, performances. Remember, be you, be legendary. I'm Legendary Beats and I'm out. Hey, <laughs> I see you. I see you wanted to check out these videos over here. Um, but before you do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really need you to subscribe to be updated on the new videos that I put out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also check out that video right there.